everyone welcome back happy friday again <laughs> this is the second video of the day if you've seen the other video for the hashtag um, 100 coloring of 24 that's the last page so i'm trying to figure out what what else to um color but anyway today is um what's today one color challenge hashtag one color channel is 2024 i got so many hashtags i can't even remember so this is 100 no see now i'm getting confused <laughs> hashtag one color challenge 2024 okay i gotta remember that so this is the book i had this book for a long time too and totally forgot about it color before you sleep you probably saw this in last week's video for the one color challenge this is color before you sleep um supposed to be a relaxing coloring book this is by color mix and Veselina Filipova. This is a very relaxing book. I like this book. I just stared at it and then coloring it, but then I was like, you know what? It's time to start coloring in this book. So this one for, was for last week if you didn't see it. All brown. And now this week I did this here. Hopefully you can see it. Because the background I did the um I was doing the background. Oh, I did the sidewalk, sidewalk chalk. That's what I use for the background. So you probably can barely see it. But I use all um, gel paints. Neons, pastel pink, pastel pink, neon pink. Yeah, and I think a pink Sharpie marker. I hope that was pink. Yeah, pink Sharpie marker. And the background is a to cover to um, color the rabbit I used the pastels for the little parts here that wasn't covered so yes yeah, so I did this in all pink all right so I'm gonna let you know so we got what a week left in August so I'm gonna let you know usually I give prompts for the um for Mandela Monday and for the one color challenge so I'm gonna let you know now what it is, and I'll also put it up in my com I'll put it up in my com community tab. Let me slow down. I will put it up in my community tab. The prompts for September, October, November, December. So I'm not gonna give it each month. I'm gonna give it all at one time, so you can be prepared and ready for it. So for the prompts, I give for the one color challenge and the Mandela um, Mandela Mondays. Um, it's optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You're not required to do it. I just, it's something I just want to make fun. Have fun. Oh, what did I kick? Box. <laughs> um, so, Crafting with Pat, if you're watching this, you can, um, let them know in your video about the prompts. So, September will be blue, because it's back to school. Where, where I'm at is back to school in September. Um, so September will be blue, so you could color your one color challenge, all blue. And for the Mandela um, Monday, you just have a have, just have blue in your. You could color it all blue, or you could just have the color one part blue. Let's add blue to your page. Um, for October is orange. For November it will be brown. And December, of course, would be red. So I'm going to say it again. September is blue. blue. Any shades of blue. If it has the blue color in it, say it's, it's gray blue, you can use gray blue because it has blue in it. Anything with blue in it. October is orange. That's Halloween, so we use orange for the pumpkin. And um, November would be brown because the leaves turn, starts turning different colors so maybe it turns brown <laughs> once it turns from green orange to the it was that beautiful color like that reddish color Very beautiful so November will be brown and December will be red Christmas red all right so um for the one color challenge I'm going to let you know the rules again all you got to do is color your page with one shade of color if you're coloring a person, you can use skin tones. You're free to do that. 
and you can color your background a different color let's say you don't want to you want to do the background another color you can do that you can do your background another color but as long as the main picture that you're coloring is that one color okay so um yeah that's it for the one color challenge so i will put it up um on the um community tab and um and you can also watch crafting with pat if crafting with pat is watching this she can um repeat it on her channel too and let everybody know from her channel also um yeah so that's about it so if you want feel free to join the one color challenge 2024 which is hosted by me and co-host is coloring with candace um feel free to do so okay um yeah i gotta check her out on facebook i haven't been off the facebook group for a while she does color and candace do have a facebook group i'll try to put the link in the description if you want to join the facebook group uh yeah that's about it and for the my hashtag 100 um coloring of 24 um once again i like to say thank you to all of those who have joined the um joined that collab i'll also put that in my community tab all the people that joined and you, i'll put the um they tag the handles and you can go check them out and check out their pages um everyone's doing a wonderful job they're just having fun coloring they're pulling out books that they never colored and just coloring away uh what else that's about it i still have my mandela mondays if you want to join that that's on monday uh what I have the M Beans crayon coloring. I do that once in a while. Like those the M Beans crayon coloring, you don't have to do it on a specific day. There's no specific day for those for the the M Beans crayon coloring and the two color challenge. There's no specific days for those. So you feel free to upload. You can upload it as many times as you want. And um because it's only the two color channel is only two colors. So and um yeah so you can upload those as many times as you want only i upload the one color challenge on fridays and the um, mandela mondays on monday but if you want a specific day you can upload the two color challenge on thursdays was it what the, what was i uploading on thursdays or tuesdays it'll be tuesdays but it's not necessarily because I'll, I'll end up uploading on a Saturday or something like that. And the M Beans crayon coloring, you can up, up, upload that anytime. But if you want, you can upload it on Thursdays. Do it like that. I might just do it like that so I remember which ones to do. Because usually I don't upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays sometimes. Um, yeah, so that's all the ones I have, right? The One Color Challenge, the Mandela Mondays, and Beans Crayon Coloring, and the Two Color Challenge, and the 100, hashtag 100, um, coloring of 24. And for that one, you can skip a day. You don't have to go back to back. You could take a break and then start off whatever number you left off at, then you start off again with that with the next number. You can take a break so you can find out what books you want to color. Um, yeah so that's about it so i just want everybody to have fun coloring i just especially when it comes to crayon the crayon coloring um make sure you check out jay carey and foxy colorist because they both does do wonders with the crayons this is why i started that because so you can find your niche of what you like to do so um yeah find out you can find out like what you like and what you don't like if you don't like crayons hey, you don't got to do it <laughs> if you like crayons hey feel free to use the hashtags you know so everybody can come to your page and see how you use your crayons um 
yeah so i'll make sure you go check the community tab out and i'll have everything up there and i'll repeat everything back up there and make sure you check out crafting with pat so she can let you know the pumps and stuff like that if you forget you could go check her out make sure you check out her channel too she has some wonderful stuff on there um yeah so that's it it's been kind of slow because my husband was on vacation so we i was just trying to chill for the whole week <laughs> So next week I'll be back coloring a little bit more and I'll do the coloring chat again. I got to do it in the morning. And then, um, the school is around the corner so I got to deal with the kids right now. Get to start getting their stuff. So, um, yeah, so I hope I'm not talking y'all too much. <laughs> but any questions, any comments, anything you want to ask me. Feel free. I'm not cooking no dinner right now. Don't go on time. I'm going off. All right. So any questions, anything, just let me know in the comments. Everybody have a wonderful day. Happy Friday. It finally cooled down here, but I think it's supposed to get back hot again. I already know it's going to get back hot again, but those cool days felt like fall, a fall day. Like it was chilly. I think I got a little cold right now because <laughs> it was so cold. When outside it was cold and then you go into the supermarket and it's even colder. Eh. <laughs> But I think it's getting it's gonna warm back up again though. But them days felt pretty good. Just good to feel for the days to cool down and then I don't mind it getting back hot again. So okay. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday. And um yeah, I'll have some coloring stuff for the weekend, I think. I'll have a Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so everybody have a wonderful weekend. Peace, love, and blessings.